Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to give you guys a comparison between Asperite and Pixel Edit, two pixel art creation tools specifically designed for pixel art. You could of course use something like Photoshop or GIMP and you'd be able to create pixel art, but because those programs aren't specifically designed for it, you get a lot of weirdness when you're trying to do things like, let's say, rotate a few pixels 45 degrees, or to place a one pixel square on your screen. So one thing I want to point out for you guys before we get into this video is that I am definitely more of a developer than a pixel artist. I am new to the whole creating pixel art thing, and though I think I am improving, um, I would not consider myself like a professional artist or anything. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and get started with comparing the two programs and hopefully give you an idea of which one you should pick up, if not both of them. So in both of these programs, you're able to create multi-frame animations quite easily. You can see that the different components of this animation are split into separate layers, which makes it easy if you want to do something like move this top petal without moving the flower base down here at all. Or if you want to add things to, let's say, this pot down below, rather than messing with the whole pot, but having that sit on top of it. So layers are pretty much a given, but in addition to that, both programs are going to have onion skinning, which allows you to see the before and after frame, and the ability to play back these animations while you're editing them. So you can go between animations, pretty much same in both of these programs. So over here, you can see the pixel edit version of this. If I wanted to make some changes, I could just draw them on, and you'd be able to see them appear here in the animation. Basically, as soon as I edit it, or even while I'm considering making that change. So if I increase my brush size here, and I was to hover over here, you can see in that playback window, it'll show the pixel that I'm trying to edit. Of course, here there's also onion skinning, same as with Asperite. And they are really good tools for being able to animate this pixel art. It's a lot easier to actually see what you're doing when you have that playback window and the ability to animate uh, different components on separate layers. So that's all well and good. But those are where these two programs are really similar when it comes to animation. I would say where Pixel Edit falls weak here is that you can't really see the layers and their reference to the animation you're doing so easily. So you'll have these layers over here, but you won't have any indication about if there's something in that layer with this little circle. You can't click on a layer in a frame of that layer and copy and paste that somewhere else just with control C, control V, um, unless you're going to basically go to that layer, find the frame, copy it like this, and then drag it to where you want it to be in the next frame. Also, I feel that the labeling you can do up here in Asperite makes it a bit easier to organize your frames, your animations, and to see exactly where you're working on. Um, the ability to copy entire rows of frames is also nice. Now, how you can see where an animation starts and ends in Pixel Edit is when you have those animations selected. You can see over here that there's this thin blue line. Um, so that's where the animation would start. And over here in the bottom right, we can see where the animation ends. But it gives you a bit less information about what's going on with those individual layers over here. And then having the layers over here is a little awkward. If you were going to do an animation on multiple layers, um, it's not that you can't do it. You totally can. It's just a little bit more awkward than the flow of Asperite over here. Now, um, a couple other things about Asperite that are good uh, before we get to the advantages of Pixel Edit. First off, Asperite does have more tools for you to work with when it comes to creating pixel art. So you have a contour tool over here and polygon tool for creating various shapes. You have the jumble tool over here, which is pretty cool. If you want to create something like a gravel effect, you can take pixels and mix them up very easily. And um, the blur tool allows you to easily get some uh, kind of anti-aliased edges on your pixel art if that's something you want. So then there's also the gradient tool over here. Pixel Edit only has paint bucket tool. So if you wanted to get effects uh, where basically have one color transition into another, uh, that's something that you don't really have access to in Pixel Edit. So I could see this kind of thing being useful if you have like a base background color that's just kind of blurred out. Maybe something that looks a bit more like this where you would have grass in the background and then above that some kind of sky or mist. 
So one other tool that's pretty useful inside of Aspirite is shading. So if you have the pencil tool selected, you just change the ink from simple ink to shading, and then you can select colors over here. And while you have these colors selected, and it recognizes one of those colors inside of your artwork, uh, you can see here the middle color is there. Left click will turn your color towards the left, basically making it a lighter shade. And then right click will make it darker. So this would be really useful if you're doing something like creating a rock. And then you want to get a couple different shading colors really easily without having to manually switch between them. So you can easily make your colors lighter and darker. Now that said, although Pixel Edit doesn't have that, you could easily just select your colors manually and then kind of go over here and draw them. Now that said, although uh, Pixel Edit doesn't have the shading tool, you can just kind of shade yourself if you want to do it more manually by selecting the color you want to shade, left clicking, and then you go to the next color and putting that in. It's not hard to do that in Pixel Edit. So um, let's talk about where Pixel Edit is really strong. And to me, that would be tiling. So in Asperite, for whatever reason, you don't actually have the ability to take um, let's say a 16 by 16 pixel square and turn that into a tile and then to tile from within Aspirite. Uh, you can draw in tiled mode, which you can do by going to view, uh, let's see, view tiled mode, tiled both axis. And then if you have like 132 by 32 pixel uh, sprite, you'd be able to see how it tiles and you can still draw it like that. And um, yeah, that's all well and good if you only want to work on one tile. But if you want to see how multiple tiles can interact with each other, then Pixel Edit is definitely going to be stronger here. So inside of Pixel Edit, I can create a tile. And then now that I have it in my tile base, I can just put it onto the map really easily and uh, start placing my tiles. And you can also rotate them, as you can see here. So you don't need to make four corners. You only really need to make one. Um, and then we put the sides in and just like that we've tested our tile inside of pixel edit now to create the tile of course you have to use this tile placer tool so to use the tile placer tool we've got to hit Control click to create a new tile and once you've done that it appears down here below you can duplicate it make modifications to it uh, whatever you want to do um, earlier today I was working on this a bit so this is basically kind of a prototyping of how one of my levels might look in the game I'm currently working on. And you would have a pretty tough time doing this kind of tiling if you were working out of Aspirite. Now, uh, that said, you could just get a tool like Tiled, which is specifically about taking tile sets and creating your game maps, and then you can export that to programs like Unity. So it's not like you couldn't just create your tiles inside of Aspirite and do that. But having these features for tiles, it makes it a lot easier to test out your actual pixel art um, if, you're, if you're trying to deal with tiling and see how it all kind of comes together before you actually put it in your game. So uh, that basically summarizes most of the differences between the two programs. Which do I think is actually better? It's a really tough call. Um, I think I like Aspirite when it comes to animation. And when it comes to things like making a character animation, I think I'm going to be playing around with this tool more. Um, in terms of creating tiles, I definitely give the edge to Pixel Edit. So I suppose if you had to pick one of the two programs, it would depend on what your focus is. If you are trying to animate a bunch of characters, I feel it is easier to do that instead of Aspirite. And if you're trying to test out tiles, I think you're going to have a better time going ahead with Pixel Edit. Simply because when it comes to creating and using tiles, there's a few additional tools in there uh, that are more specialized towards that. But you would be just fine if you used Aspirite plus another tool, such as Tiled, which is free to use, by the way. There's also been good tutorials on YouTube so far for creating tiles in Aspirite. It's even if you want them to kind of tile them together and see how it goes, you can do all of that in Aspirite. So you'll be fine either way. 
And then of course when it comes to doing animation, the UI in Asperite feels a lot more user friendly for creating your animations in the program, thanks to the timeline down at the bottom, it's very nice. So just to point out a couple more things that are pretty relevant, uh, Pixel Edit I believe is still in its beta, it's pretty much fully usable, I mean you can see everything on screen, but it's still at 0.4.8 version wise, so maybe it's not quite as complete as Asperite. Um, Asperite has been around for quite a while, it's uh, version 1.2.9. That said, I've actually been using Pixel Edit longer than Aspirate, which I picked up a few days ago. Um, so, you know, maybe a little bias there. But hopefully overall, I was able to give you guys a really good idea here of the two programs and the minor differences between them. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.